each of us is extraordinary in our own way. As the pinnacle of a specific thread of evolution, we are each born with the innate capacity to excel and extend the limits of our species. And yet, few of us realize our full potential. What are the conditions that facilitate the full realization of our capacities? What are the optimum conditions for our growth? I believe part of the answer lies in our parents, not who they are, but what they do. Extraordinary parenting is parenting of an uncommonly high caliber, one consequence of which is the nurturing of a child who is an extraordinary achiever. The most successful parents discern, acknowledge, and nurture the infinite potential of their children and cultivate the fertile soil within which it takes root and blossoms. But how do they achieve this? The purpose of the Extraordinary Parenting series is to answer this question by documenting what has helped shape the best of us and compiling a repository of information to help nurture future generations. Good afternoon, Mrs. Lau, and how are you today? I'm okay. That's fine. Well, you're fine. Wonderful. Um, I'm here today to ask you some questions about extraordinary parenting. Okay, and the first question that I have for you is, how did you feel the first time you saw your son, Joe, after he was born? Well, I feel very happy. You were very happy. I was very happy that I had a son, mm -hmm. and that it was healthy. Okay, all right. How would you describe the way you raised Joe? For example, were you a strict parent or permissive? How would you explain that? How would you ex describe the way you raised him? I just, I could, I, let me see. I could put this word. I, 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 I raised him, mm -hmm. making him believe that he had the freedom mm -hmm. or to do, uh, to, to, the freedom to, to do the thing that he wants to do, mm -hmm. that is a, a strong big threat that I'm going uh, right away stop him from doing this or from do, to do that, you know. I let him do it as new. If I thought that he was getting, was going to get in any danger, then I stop, stop him. You know, but otherwise he was he could do live his life the way he wanted to. So you, in other words you're saying that you gave him that freedom um to do that. I gave him freedom but right. it was not completely free. I gave him freedom but I have to stop when it is going the way that I knew it was not good for him. Okay. Okay, so you were there to guide him. Okay. Um, can you think of a time when Joe misbehaved? What did you do to help him improve his behavior? I think I talked to him. Okay. And I advised him what was good and what was bad, okay. you know. Okay. So I let him, I, I let him make his choice. Oh, that's good. After what you know, he knew that the way he was going was not good for him. Right. You know, but I, I tell him the best way to live, you know, okay. the life, okay. you know. And, uh, and I said, it's up to you, because it's going to be your life. Okay. As you're, you're going to, to live, you, know, you have to make decisions for, uh, for now uh, after. Okay, very good. Did you have a lot of rules for Joe to follow when he was growing up? And can you give any examples? Did you have like a lot of rules? Well, believe it or not, Joseph, I never had any complaint about Joseph or anything that I, only when they, when they, uh, in the house, they were, when they come from work, from school, mm -hmm. they stay in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they never go outside again. Mm -hmm. So 
al que ayudó tu hace full credit por él ande yo lo puse tu pay que hay que empezar a que han puesto este día donde yo de cartón ande este día por irse y era algo que no son pendiente no adiós está perfecto está siendo de poeta were they allowed to go to their friend's house and stay over? They, they was, I never stopped them from going to go and visit their friends they want to. But they usually stay home with me. Okay. And when they visit their friends, did they come home on time? Yes, they have friends, but they, they have friends after they, they grow up. After 11 or 12 years, they have friends coming home, but otherwise. And um, you knew, and you knew um, the parents of um, Joseph's friends? You, you knew the parents? No, not at the beginning, but then after a while, I, I got to know the parents too. Okay, so very good. So based on what you're saying here, is that um, your children mostly stay home, but when they go out to be with their friends, you were, um, they came to home play. to play. They came home on time, and later on, you actually met with the other parents. No. They usually, uh, when they usually bring the, their friend home, mm -hmm. and they stay home, play inside. Okay. So they they go outside to play, but I was not hunting them, you know. Hunting them, I mean that I was not after them out, they do this, no, mm -hmm. you know. But if they suspect that I have uh, some problem for them, I try to, I think, solve the problem. Okay. The best way I could. Right. Okay. What was the biggest challenge you faced in raising your son, Joe? What's the, what's the biggest challenge that you can think of? You know, why they were well, raising him? The, the only problem was that they were jealous of me, you know. Mm -hmm. they, they saw that I loved uh, Philip, that I love him more. Philip, but I love Joseph Francis more, you know. Mm -hmm. So I love, I could, I just try to love them and to show them that I love them. If it was equal love, you cannot say I'm going to love this one. All of them, I love when I love them, the other more. No, okay. you have to divide. You are not in between the, the two kids. Okay. Oh. Very good. Did, did you and your children do things together, either at home or outside the home? Did you and the children, you know, Fran, you know, Joseph, Francis, and Philip, did you all went out and do something together? Well, Either do, outside or no, inside. I went to bed to uh, a trip like that. Went to the zoo. Oh, <coughs> very good. We are my friend. They have. We, she have a car. I we used to go to the zoo and I stay over there and have fun there and you have lunch, whatever. Very good. When did you realize that Joseph, your son? was exceptional. <laughs> when the life is... I guess when, when he graduated from high school. Okay. What about graduating from high school? What did he do? Huh? What was he... What... So you're saying um the fact that he graduated from high school that in itself was exceptional for you i 
that was very good for you. You felt very good about him graduating from high school. When he graduated from high school, uh, she told me that he wanted to go to college. Interesting. It's very good. And I, I thought that it was worth it. You have to be very intelligent <coughs> to, to go to college. And he proved to be that he won. Okay. That's simple. Very good. What do you like most about Joe, your son? That he stay out of trouble all his life. <laughs> okay. If he had trouble, he would never tell me. <laughs> that was the thing. You know? okay. But nobody came ever to tell me about him doing this or that, no. Nobody came at all. Very good. Okay, last question. I hope I didn't tire you out or anything like that. Um, the last question is, what advice would you offer other parents who want to raise successful children? I will offer, I will tell them to, to the parents that uh, you have to let them, uh, you have to encourage them to study, to keep on, on, on going to school, to also have the knowledge that they need for life, you know. And that, uh, for I, before, when, when the teacher come and tell you, or oh, you have a, a note from the school that you have, your son didn't go to some problem, to investigate mm -hmm. why the son is not doing, going, but didn't go to the uh, room that day, mm -hmm. or why he's not doing the homework. Okay. You know? So you say that the advice that you will give to other parents is basically invest in their children. If their children get a note from school about something that is going on, spend time with your children, investigate what is going on. That and, is. Right. And and that in itself will help with your child to be instead of, of a punished boy. Exactly. Okay. You, you have to find out first. Why is this is such things that happen? To right, them. right, so. right. So, so you know, so investing in your child or in your children um, in a good way by you know them doing their homework, you know, um, it will not doing help. Their homework, right. If something happened to them. Right. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, if you if you are. Uh, that even you are, uh, let's say, uh, tutoring mm -hmm. and uh, interfere with uh, going to, to your homeroom, mm -hmm. and, but the parents don't know that instead of going to the homeroom, you have to go to the tutoring room, mm -hmm. you know? So that's why I, uh, I investigate because the parents tend to, oh, right away, in the, uh, put in the boy. Mm -hmm. You know, but there's, there's some more some uh, reason why mm -hmm. it's the boy is not going to be fresh fresh or that way. But, okay. You know. So anyway, and thank you so much for having me here to interview you. Okay. And um, you've you done very, very well. I thank you. And yes, you have raised a, um, a beautiful son. You know, and yes, he's exceptional. He went to universities, he has his PhD, he is teaching at, you know, Columbia University, Hunter College. I mean, he's doing very, very well. And um, so, you, I can honestly say you have done very well by your son. So, thank you again. and. Have a good day. <laughs>
If you like what you heard and saw in this video, please click on the subscribe button below. There's more on the way. Much more. Also, please check out the Parenting Literacy website at www.parentingliteracy.com.